I am playing Soul. It's a tryhard Thursday. Soul's going to be the first game, maybe the second, maybe the third, maybe the fourth. Uh, because today is going to be all about magical ADCs. I haven't played a whole bunch of them recently, but I do have fun playing them. So here we go. Well, you know, it happened, but at the same time, we both wanted it to happen. So it wasn't like, yeah, you are full of energy right now. Your throat's going to hurt tomorrow. I cannot tell you what she just said. <laughs> Dude, I... Oh, I, by the way, and my hair braided right now. Don't know if you guys can see. <clears throat> Shiv just wanted to see what my hair would look like if she braided it, so I let her. Some what? We did, we did have a fantastic morning. We went out. So first things first, our morning started off a little sus because our water got turned off because they were changing our water thingy outside. Um, so our water was turned off for an hour. So I just, you know, when I woke up, I just went back to sleep because no point in starting my day if I can't start it with a shower, in my opinion. So I went back to sleep and then when I finally did wake up, we just went straight to a grocery store and then got some lunch and then got ready for a trip we're going on. And then we just, now I'm recording. Hello. What? We are going to New York. <laughs> she said it's the best city in the world. Um, We're going to New York because we, I cannot believe you got that. You little rat bastard. You don't win this fight. You don't have you don't have mannequins. Yeah, who do you think who do you think you are, Mobsy? Who do you think you are? Uh but yeah, we're going to New York, the best city in the world, because we gotta get some stuff done for our wedding. As a lot of you know, our wedding is in November. And uh, neither of us have our outfits yet, so. <laughs> We're going up there, do some wedding stuff, hang out with family. Is what is going to be fun, but the not fun part about it is we're road tripping with a dog. And it's our, like, by default, if it, we were, like, if only the humans were going, it would be a 14-hour road trip, but with the dog, it's like probably about 16 because we have to stop a bit more often. Um, So that's kind of the, the not fun part about it, but it's not like it's that difficult. As long as we don't go at like 10 p.m. As long as we don't start our drive at 10 p.m. Because we did that once and it was horrible. It was storming very hard the whole time. I had like three hours of sleep before and it was just... It was just not good. But it's okay because that's how I think we learned from our mistake last time. Got a transcendence Medusa. I find it very, very, very odd that he went bluestone instead of like literally anything else. Like you could have gone gilded. Hell, you could have even gone uh Boomba's hammer, and I think it would have been better. I don't think Bluestone is that good on Medusa. Like, you have abilities that do damage, sure, but, like, I think Mannequins is going to do way more than Bluestone. Even against a mage. Against a normal mage, maybe not, but, like, an auto-attack mage, obviously Mannequins is going to bang. I definitely should not have stared right into that because I'm dead as shit now. Never mind, I live. We're insane. I just realized I haven't backed this game yet. Oops. Alright, you get red buff. Leave me alone. Grab some 
some pots, get back in there. Are you... When does red spawn? Not yet. Okay. Yeah, he's doing it. He doesn't have bluestone, but he does have, like, decent burst. So I'm pretty sure... I, I totally could have stolen that, dude. That's unfortunate for me. Well, I might kill you, though. I definitely just killed him. Holy crap. I did not know my damage would be that good. Is your blue buff going to be up? I feel like it shouldn't be. Like, I don't think he did it that quick. Is he? Yeah, he didn't die instantly after, after red buff. And he got his blue when he came back from dying. So. Yeah. But note for future self, don't stare straight into a Medusa ult, you absolute degen. Almost. I feel like... He's holding his auto for the between ticks of my two. And it's not like it's, uh... Like, Einstein level discovery to do that kind of shit, but you don't see it very often. Definitely indicates he's pretty good. At a smithe. I assume you backed because there's nothing else on the map. So I'm just going to hit your tower for 50s while I wait it out. Well, you do a lot of damage. He's a transcendence enjoyer at the moment. Okay. You do like a whole lot of damage. Ow. There's still nothing you can do to me right now. There's no way you're diving me. I guess you could do bull demon. It wouldn't be the craziest thing on the planet. It would be a bit odd, I think, because... Well, you're not, like, demolishing me in fights. The only fights you're super winning is the fights where I have 2,000 gold in hand. Which, to be fair, I should never have, but... I'm a greedy bitch, so this is what it is. Ouch. You auto me for a lot of damage because I didn't build breastplate. Ow. Oh my god. Yeah, damage, dude. Sorry, right, I got I got Bancrofts. He can't even contest. He can't even come close to dealing with me. Alright. I think he recognized his mistake, thinking that he could fight when, when I have Bancrofts. Yeah, you just gotta run, my guy. You just gotta run. Can I get your blue buff before you spawn and, and murder me? Oh yeah, 100%. 100%. We are chilling. We are chill and we're so far ahead. I will say I'm not landing all my autos, so the fights are a bit closer than they should be. And the fact that he has defense and I don't <clears throat> makes the fights even a little bit more close. Hello. But with Bancrofts, I'm pretty sure that I just win the fights almost by default. Like I can mess up a lot and still win very easily. Which I think is, I mean, an indication that Bancrofts didn't need to get buffed, but also an indication that just magical ADCs in general are super, super good. 
He might steal this from me. I'll be sad if you do. He didn't. Now I run. Now I die, actually. I lied. Oh my god, my ult actually almost killed him. Huh? Bro, I barely... I didn't even aim my ult at you. I hit you with residuals. I hit you with residuals, dude. I'm pretty sure if I back, it doesn't matter. Or, or if he backs, it doesn't matter. Because I don't think he gets anything. And I'm pretty sure I get this Phoenix. I don't have too much attack speed. I don't know. Maybe not. I am soul though. Bro, you do actually so much damage to me. Jesus. He definitely does more damage, but I think the thing is, is that Bancross. Helps me win the trades. Even if, uh, even if I'm losing the actual fight itself, you know, like. I don't need to actually win the battle because I can just sustain up after losing it and come back for round two and actually win then. Okay, unless I miss everything. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> okay. Why did he let me live? Okay, I that was a mistake on his part. But in no world should I have lived through that. Literally no world. Every single planet, every single universe, I should have died. I'll take it, but I feel bad about it. Slightly, right? Like, I don't feel that bad because I like winning, but... I feel like he should have known to W-key me just now. He's playing well. I mean, he hits all of his shit. It's just, there's those, like... I don't know, maybe moments of doubt is what you would call it. Where he just doesn't believe in his capability to outplay me. Or even just, like... Sustain the same shit he's been doing the whole time. Which just means like hitting all of his autos because he is man he is he's slamming me oh gosh you altered my minion wave I don't Do you win this fight. No way, I'm garbage. Oh no. Okay. I really should have been able to kill him there. That was just straight up bad play, I think, on my part. But it's fine. It's fine. I'm just gonna get bold demon. Reason I get bold demon right now, by the way, is because I don't wanna I don't wanna do it on the way back. I'd rather do it right now so that when by the time that I back and I get to his Phoenix, I'll be ready for the fight. Like I'll be ready to Try to catch a fat dub. I'm gonna grab a 500 pot here. I think the cooldown will help. I will try to pick up that blue buff. If I can. And nice. When are you gonna meet me out here? Or are you just gonna try to stay back and defend that? It looks like he's gonna stay back. I'm gonna blink on him. He did get XE. But I got a lot more attack speed. 
I got a lot more attack speed. Holy crap. I feel like my attack speed more than doubled. I don't know why, because I only got like 15 extra percent or something. Not so insane. I don't think you can stop me here. Nice. GG. GG. That was actually a really good first game. Like a lot of games in Trier Thursday, especially when I'm like Soul or Kronos or Freya or Oleron, basically any of the magical ADCs. When I, uh, when I'm those characters, I expect the game to end a lot sooner. And it didn't. So, you know. Well played by you. See you guys in game number two. What's up, boys? Welcome back to game number two. He banned Soul, so I'm playing Oleron. It's the it's the magical ADC day. I, w I would like to get one of each magical ADC in. Like Soul, Oleron, Kronos, Freya. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to. I'm fighting Mobzy again. He isn't on her now. I actually think I like... Ah, damn it. I was going to say, I actually think I like the tier one demonic grip start over the tier one Bancroft start. But I mean, I don't know. 20 magic power. Would I rather have 6% life steal or 5% attack speed? That's really what the difference is. I don't know. I think I go Bancroft because the finished, the actual finished item is so good. Bro, why, why do you go Bluestone on these gods? Why? Okay, he's like. The king at securing buffs. Mm. He's definitely jumping over this wall. Ugh. I definitely lose this fight, huh? Oh, mannequins, come on. No. Damn it. Dude, he is so good at securing buffs. I can't do anything against him ever. Maybe that's why he goes bluestone, because of the power. Maybe he just expects that with the the extra power from bluestone, he's able to get all the buffs. I don't know, man, but I hate it. With this, I will bring order to the table. But I hate it. I think Bluestone is really only good on gods that need it. Which sounds weird to say, but like... Th what I mean by that is... Gods where that extra tick damage, it really helps their clear. You know, like... Honor's clear is gonna clear no matter what. Whether you have Bluestone or not. You don't really need the extra help. Coming over here. You want to tussle? You might be a lion, but I'm king of this map, bitch. I really want him to jump on me. Uh... Damn. Alright. I'm just waiting it out, I guess. Need to crack my neck, but I can't.
He wants to jump on me for sure. I am playing dangerously with this on her right now. Standing on tower line. It is dumb. Nice. Ouch. Ouch. Um, I actually don't think that was bad for me. Because I got the red buff. His ult is down. I'm feeling okay. And I can get your blue buff too. You don't have enough HP for this, I think. You gotta give it to me. Okay, he knows. I was hoping he didn't know and he would try to steal it, but... I mean, as most people know, playing a game based on hoping their their opponent messes up is uh, definitely not the way to get better. In the jungle. Not that I'm like actively trying to get better, because I think playing the game for fun like I do and then actively trying to get better are two super different play styles. But, uh... Oh, I hate that. Ow. Okay. Ow. Okay, ow. Just walked up, killed me, and took my blue buff. Might as well fucking slap me on the ass and call me a bitch while you're at it. How dare you? Still have no crit chance. When I'm low HP though, I will. Because of Bancroft's passive. I'm dead. Jesus Christ, you hit hard. This motherfucker hits me for like 215. I think I will go breastplate this game second item instead of more uh more damage like I did last game. He got tier one defense, clearly. Oh no he didn't. Why do I do less damage to you? I was hitting you for more and now I hit you for less. Okay. Oh, I'm so dead, dude. Yeah. Yep. Dude, how do I have Bancross, which gives me 150 mana, and still run out of mana every single fight? Holy crap. I need... Jesus, but also, like, something's got to change. I need crit chance with some power. Oh, fuck my fucking... Dude, this guy is so fucking good. What, like, how is his MMR so bad that I only get plus 15? Because he's, like, actually a solid player, man. Like, a very, very solid player. And I don't say that about very many people. It's interesting.
Are you going magis? Why are you going magis? Oh my god, you do so much damage. Holy shit. I mean, for three autos for 700 damage just now. In times of crisis. Uh, I really don't know what second relic I want yet. He got beads, which is obvious because my alt. Maybe I just go Aegis. I don't know. Aegis is going to be good, but... Is he going to dive me? Is he trying to dive me? Is that what's going on here? My mannequins is helping me a lot in these fights. But it's not helping me enough to where I think that I can win them. I know that sounds weird, but... I'm slowing his attack speed to a point where I'm comfortable fighting, but not comfortable enough to full commit and, like, go for the kill, you know? I'm just trying to slowly poke out so I can try to get red buff, but he has alt and like, I don't know, dude, he's scary. Oh my. It was a very interesting play to jump on me because now I think that you lose red. He ulted it and still lost it, which I love. I needed that in my life. You're going for blue. I almost killed him. My one didn't crit. Uh, I did. Ha I do have crit chance. I have 15% because of the red buff. So there was a 15% chance that I kill him just now, but again, that's luck based. Um. Do I just go demonic here? Oh man, I don't know. I want some more power too though. A balanced weapon and a weapon of balance. Yeah. This will just go demonic. I don't understand stand the spear road play i mean i get it in the sense that it's a knockup but or my my knockup will not you know it'll proc it i hate having to use my ult to keep my tower alive but it it is important that bull demon doesn't open up yet jesus christ dude you back one fucking time and become aggressive as hell Jesus. Okay. I don't think he can kill me now. Oh, that was close though. Okay. 
Oh, my alt didn't go off, dude. Oh, come on. You've got to be kidding me on that. You've got to be kidding me with that alt. I think that might cost me a lot, actually. I think it's going to cost me on my tower. And I also think it might cost me a bull demon. I'm hoping that he's doing bull demon now. No, he's not. Damn it. The reason I was hoping he was going to do bull demon just now is because if he does it now, then it just only hits my tower. But I feel like the chances of him messing this up are getting lower and lower. I don't know, man. Level 20 Oleron does do some decent damage. Ouch. Ouch. Oh, that crit for 300. Let's go. Good crit. Where did he go? I can't do that in time. Really wish I could. What am I doing? I just got a back. I think I messed up. I'm going to lose my tower. Oh, do bull demon? Do bull demon? Come on. Damn it. Jeez. It always surprises me how much damage he does. Every time. There is an order to things. Stand the heat of the Savannah. Um. I ulted for pressure on the red buff just now. And I did get that. I am also going to be able to grab my my level 20 mannequins here. Which might give me a free bull demon. We'll see. He's going crit chance. He's only going to have 20% though. 20% crit chance is not a huge amount. I'm hoping... That it's fine. I'm also okay if he does bull demon himself right now. Because again, it's just my tower. He's not. Now I will shred this thing because of my mannequins. I should not have aged that. That was so dumb. I do way more damage than he does now. Oh my god. All of a sudden? I don't even know what changed. I guess I picked up red buff. I picked up red buff and now all of a sudden I'm just destroying him. Alright. He's just giving up his phoenix here.
Uh, I could maybe win a fight. I think it's risky. Because he can stun me to a wall and get really lucky on the on the crit chance. Like, what's happening right now is what I assumed would happen, which is why I'm not happy about it. Oh, we got a shell. And also, we heal a lot because he didn't land that, that Toxic Blade on me beforehand. Mm, I don't know if I win these fights, though. Oh, God. This is my fire, my first fire wave. So that kind of gives me a way in. Oh, come on. That hit me. I am dead here. hundred percent. Yeah. Uh, I think that's game. Might not be game, but it will 100% be Phoenix. Damn, dude, what do I want here? Mm. Could just go Spectral. He doesn't have Death Bring Deathbringer, so Spectral actually would do good here. Damn, 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 damn. What a game. I just realized. He is... He's double crit. But he has three kills. And I have none. He's actually demolishing me this game. In terms of fighting. But my pressure is good enough. Like I'm, I'm using my cooldowns in a way that it's not winning me fights, but it, it's getting me so much pressure that he can't really compete with it. Thankfully. I don't think he understands how fast I can do this. You're dead. GG. GG. That was such a good game, dude. Holy crap. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, this Mobsy guy, he's got a, he's got a future. He's got a duel in future. All right. And game one kill to three kills. And I'm the one that wins probably shouldn't be like that, but Hey, duels duel. I'll see you guys in game number three, where hopefully I am either Kronos or Freya. See you there. Yo, what's up, boys? Welcome back. Game number three. He banned Soul and Oleron, so I think he's catching on to, to, to the game plan here. I'm going to hit up a uh, Kronos game. And I was talking to Mobzy. I assume this is him because of the Soul and Oleron bans. But I was talking to him last game. He seems like a really, really cool dude. He said he came over from uh, from console. He's still learning mouse and keyboard. And he said, I told him that his mechanics are insane. Like, he hits everything. He just needs to work on his positioning a bit. He said, yeah, that's what his friends tell him and stuff. And, um, no, he just seems super cool. He seems like a, a, a good guy. And I told him, I think he has a, a good future in Duel. And he's like, if I even play it, I'm mainly a Conquest player. Um, but yeah, I, I think, I think Mobsy is a very, very good player. Mechanically, he's very, very good. I don't think that he's bad at at positioning or like pressure or anything like that it just needs a, a bit of work you know but anyways 
I assume he's picking a god, either Medusa or on her, probably. Or maybe he wants to go with the new one because he hit up Medusa and on her last two games. Kernanos. Oof. I have a very bad record against Kernanoses. So this is uh this this might be a rough one for me, man. This might be a rough one for me. Alright, Mobsy. I'm down. Let's hit it up. And obviously, actually, this game, I am going to go with the attack speed. I'm going with the attack speed over the lifesteal. 5% attack speed over 6% lifesteal. Entire tryhard Thursday of fighting you. I'll take these good games when I get them. I'll take the good games when I can get them. Fighting, fighting Mobsy for an entire Triard Thursday is actually kind of pog. I'm down. He actually makes me use my brain on occasion, which is like not something I normally do. No way he got that. I don't think you win this because... I have mannequins. Mannequins is pretty hard to beat out. Oh, mannequins. Come on, baby. Oh, the pots. The pots. Goddamn. He definitely outclears me. Unless I use an ability, which I really can't afford to use. Did it anyways. I'm gonna have to give you all my buffs. He's so good at buff control, dude. I hate it. I hate it. I don't think I've gotten a single red buff at the start of any of our games. Oh, see right there, right there. Look, Mobsy, I'm just, I'm just going to tell you, I'm taking you under my wing right now, right there. That was a bit of, uh, your positional, not prowess showing. You should have gone for the, for my blue buff there. I was out of mana. You weren't, you had health pots ticking still. You were fine. You should have gone for it. All right, let's see. We can maybe do a little bit of tower damage here. Oh, God, I took a tower shot. Mm. All right, Mr. Don't Miss. I hold the secrets of life. Holy fuck. He just bursted me for like 700 damage. No, it was about 400 damage he bursted me for. But still, Jesus, man. A 400 damage burst at level 5? That's incredible. I think I'm able to get red buff here. Definitely able to get red buff here. I just need it to spawn. Thank you. <clears throat> He's gonna have his transcendence now, so I gotta I gotta not take this fight right now. He will beat me up. I'm gonna just run. I'll get my Ring of Hecate here, which will lower his damage even more. Now, with Ring of Hecate, lowering his power 
by 15%. And mannequins giving me more, more attack speed than him. I think I might be able to win a fight, but that's only if I hit my first autos before he hits his. I don't think I win the fight if we hit the autos at the same time. Let's see. I assume you're at your blue. I'm going to do mine. Now I want to grab my blue. After clearing the wave. Unfortunately, you met the wave, which means you get all the XP, which is expected. Ooh. It is good that he missed me. It's really good that he missed me just now. Not really able to get anything off of this. I'm actually down to fight this, by the way. You backing? Okay. I'm gonna say he shouldn't back here. That went well. I wanted him... I wanted to keep him there to fight so that I could... Again, it's a pressure thing. I'm losing the game right now. But if I can keep up, get the XP camps, and slowly try to make my way back in, then, I mean, that's just, that's just how it needs to happen for me right now. Like, the only way I win this game is by keeping pressure at an all-time high. Like, you'll notice, I'm down a kill, but I'm even in gold and XP. Even though I'm down buffs and I'm down kill. Like, I'm, I'm still able to kind of hold my own. Assuming you want that red buff. I am going to let you have it, because I'm pretty sure I don't win it. Win this fight. Okay. God damn, man. You're Conan Kernano's freak. Gotta run. You know you don't win that fight. I'm using my uh my top quadrant, by the way, on my two, which is just health regen. Because by abusing Ring of Hecate's healing and abusing my regen quadrant, I'm pretty much able to tank through whatever he wants to do to me. Yeah, I can tank through so much. I can tank through it all. He's got Itch of All now, though. So my tanking stops there. Now I have to respect the damage output he's doing because I don't have enough lifesteal for it. Though I will say that could not have gone better for me. Like, straight up just couldn't have gone better. I got... Everything I wanted. Got everything I wanted. All three uh, buffs. I got all three buffs and the XP camp. I'm now ahead in gold. Not just even. I'm ahead in gold. And... Um, I'm ahead in XP. Which is insane. Judging... All these games have started. Every single game starts the exact same. 
Him getting double buff control and XP camp and me having to make a comeback. That itch of all hurts. He doesn't miss autos. Does my one give me more life steal or my three? I actually don't know the answer to that. Hmm. I'm not going to back. I don't need to just yet. Now I will back. Does it lower... Yeah, upgrading my ult does lower my cooldown, but it's only by four seconds. So it's not something I need to do instantly. <clears throat> I can hold off on it a bit. Red buff here, baby. Yeah, you are definitely not winning this fight, I don't think. Okay, unless I miss all my autos. And then my ring of Hecate falls off. I'm back on the regen grind right now. Perfect. I actually have to think about my positioning so much when I'm fighting this guy. It's like, it's almost a new concept to me. All right, this tower definitely falls here. I got the tower and I got his alt, but he got mine. I don't know if that's worth it for me. He didn't back, so he can't contest this. At least I don't think he can. I'm hoping I'm right. If I'm wrong, this is going to suck. Good. Very good. I do want to go Toxic Blade this game, by the way. I think I will go Toxic Blade. The main reason is not because I think that's going to be an Aussie. Because I actually think that might be a Kins. Because I have 2,000 HP already and I'm only level 17. So I actually think that might be a Kins, but... Um, he gets 15% lifesteal from his one. Dude, hitting that Ichival is like crazy. Because it stays for so long. The stack of it, I mean. All right. Dude, I can't even talk most of the time when I'm fighting because I have to be so, like, focused in. I like this guy a lot. I like the way he plays, too. He actually, like, contests every fight. He contests buffs. And he's like, even though the fights are close, he's not just backing away and running. You know, like he's actually going for the for the outplay. Wow. I was hoping that I was 
one second slower on my alt, actually. Because if I was, I would have teleported pretty much right next to him. But it's okay. <clears throat> I don't want to back yet. Oh, he actually did go Aussie. That's interesting. I don't think I would have gone Aussie if I was in his spot right there. I just would have switched it up and gone like Xe or Kins or something. I got my mannequins. And into the Telkines. And we're chilling now. We're chilling. I don't have the attack speed Bancrofts. I wonder if that's what I should go. My last item here. I don't know. I also don't know which start I like better between Bancrofts and Ring of Hecate. Because I feel like Bancrofts is a better power spike once you finish the item. Whereas Ring of Hecate is a better power spike at level 3. But if I'm fighting Mobzy, I don't get a buff anyways. I think it's really hard for him to win this fight. Oh, nice. Because... Oh, I think you're dead here. Oh, I got all. ult. You played that so well, dude. Come on. Come on. Oh. Damn, I didn't even kill him that game. I literally went... Have I gone negative every game against him? I think I've gone negative every game against him. Wow. That's crazy. That's crazy. Holy crap. All right. Well, I'll see you guys in the last game where hopefully I'm Freya. Hey, what's up, boys? So, unfortunately, as you can tell by the bans, for this last game, he banned literally all four magical ADCs. So, I've decided that I'm going to create my own. And you already know oh, it's Nuwa. You already know it's Nuwa. I don't have to tell you. You just know that when I am out of auto attack mages and I want to play an auto attack mage, I play Nuwa. Bubba Sleazy. <laughs> All right, good name. Good name. I like it. Let's go this and this and this and this and this and this and... Do I put... Yo, is it dumb as shit to put two points in my clay soldiers initially? They'll do 30 damage each hit. I'll get two of them. And they have 360 HP each. Like, my clear sucks. I get that. But my damage, baby. But my damage, baby. You know, I wish I could show you guys the color of my arm. I have, like, I'm... I can't tell because of a ring light, obviously, but... I, right here is really tan, and then my upper arm is, like, kind of tan. Because sometimes I go on walks in a tank top. And then my, like, actual chest is so dummy pale. <laughs> oh, God. I was losing it. All right. So I knew, I knew this was going to be my issue. We all knew this. But you know what? Look at the damage. Look at the burst. Get his ass, boys. Y'all get him. Y'all got him. Y'all got him. Mm, they didn't get it. They didn't get it. Bro, my minions beat him up. 
130 numbies? Look at my minions go, dude. Look at my minions go, dude. Am I deceased here? I feel like I'm kind of deceased here. No, no, no. Check it, check it, check it. Minions got me. Minions got me. Let's go, dude. Minions at 224 damage. <laughs> I'm maxing my minions. Fuck it. They're going to do so much damage so quick. Oh, my God. My clear is going to suck. But I'm going to go auto attack. Auto attack minion build. Look at him go, man. There's going to be a bunch of chads. Are you here? You are here. Get him, minions. Look at him go. Look at him chase him. Look at him chase. They're in tower. They don't care, dude. They don't care, dude. Ow. Get his ass. It's funny because he thinks he needs to get away from the minions because I'm going to blow them up, right? Nope. You need to get away because my minions are actually my main source of damage right now. <laughs> That's so funny, man. Can my minions take on a wave? I only have two, so I doubt it. In one more level? Actually, no. In one more level, I think it's going to force me to put a point in something else. Unfortunately. Oh my god. My minions are going to cost 100 mana to summon. And I only have 560 mana right now. <laughs> Holy crap. I wish my clear was a little bit better, but, you know, I, I can't really complain. I did it to myself. Yeah, it does force me to put a point in something else. I'm going to hold my point so I can put it in my two and my alt. You know you don't get that, right? There we go. <laughs> Look at him go. Look at him go. <laughs> Look at him go. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. I have my minions maxed out now. I have level one on my three. Level one on my one. But a maxed out minion. Look at my minions just beat his ass, dude. Oh, my God. Yo, my minions did 700 damage to him. Holy shit. We are oh, uh, I don't. Why have I never done this before? Why have I never maxed out my minions on New Wa before? That shit's hilarious. Get his ass. Get his ass. Look at that. Look at that, dude. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, dude. I love it. Now, I know I'm getting him more Soul Eater stacks because I'm just sending minions at him over and over. But I really don't care. I'm just having a blast right now. Hello. There it is. I didn't want to detonate my boys. But I mean, look, they did a thousand damage. They did, they did their job. Sometimes for the greater good, they need to be sacrificed. And in that case, I needed the kill. All right, we got the blue buff, which is super important. Beyond
Mm, he doesn't want to fight me. Which makes sense. But, like, I haven't backed in a while. Ouch. 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 Hmm. No one can escape their destiny. I missed. No, they're only doing a little bit of damage now. Well, I mean, 310 is not really a little bit. Oh my god. Oh my god, he was so low. Damn it. It was so close. I have so much gold too. <laughs> All right, fine. I'll back. I'll back. I'm going to go toxic. And then I'm going to go I don't know, just tier 2 or tier 1 of that. Toxic for the soul leader, obviously. How much health do these have now? Each minion has 537 health. The flow. That means when I press 2, I summon 1500 HP. Rise Get that tower, boys. Get that tower! Oh my god. <laughs> my towers actually smack the the my towers. My minions actually smack the tower for almost as much as I did. Oh. You're dead. Yeah, dude. Auto attack Nuwa is so good. Every time I play her, it's like I just get reminded of how good she is. He said, "Why, Dad?" <laughs> Stop, son. Stop. <laughs> He's chasing me. <laughs> oh, God. He's not stopping. Okay. Okay. He stopped. Jeez. Um, I think I'm just going to go more attack speed, honestly. I don't really need to care about other things. Our power grows. I think I have the luxury of not giving a shit. I think if you're fighting a melee god, maxing your two on new Waz is somewhat viable. I'm not going to say super viable, but... <laughs> Look, after the crazy tough games against uh, Mobzy... Maxing the two on Nuwa is such a fun change of pace. Pow, 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 pow. Bro, I do no damage. <laughs> like, my attack speed is fast at all, but I do no damage. Oh, hello. I don't actually think you win a fight against me. Yeah. 
My minions are so OP. Yeah, my minions killed him for 400. I got BDK though, so I really went true. <laughs> true. GG. All right. Well, that uh, that concludes the Try Hard Thursday. I hope you guys enjoyed yourself like I enjoyed mine. There was actually a couple of really, really intense games in there and then uh, ended off on a fun one. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, peace.